Good morning, Dr. Noel here with the Gem of the Week. Um, today's actually idea came pretty easily to me because I recently got injured again. Playing ice hockey, I love playing ice hockey, uh, even with injuries. But uh, this one is a pretty, pretty good one. I actually injured my, my arm, so I got a, um, a tear, a muscle tear, and um, it was actually quite significant. Um, the Internally, the blood uh, kind of made its way all the way down and my arm got quite a bit swollen uh, from the internal bleeding. Um, but all through the night, I, I felt this really deep throbbing ache in my arm. And especially after yesterday, I had a really long day at work and it tend to, I think it, it just flared it up. So the reason why I'm sharing all this with you is because when it comes to acute injuries, you know, we know the acronym ICE, right? ICE, compress, and elevate. Those are the things you wanna do, especially within the first 48 hours or so. Um, now this injury for me is more than a week old, but I got it re-injured and re-irritated. So then again, it could apply. You, could, you can ICE, compress, and elevate. Well, the problem with icing and, and compressing is that we, we often will kind of take an ice pack out of the uh, fridge freezer and and put it on but we we rarely do the compress aspect and uh, my arm was hurting so bad through the night i didn't get really good sleep uh, and then this morning it was hurting as, as well and and uh, i went into my freezer and got my ice pack right i should have done it the night before but i didn't do it so this morning i put this freeze sleeve on now the cool thing with these freeze sleeve is that they compress it's a compression sleeve and it's cold really cold all the way around and it stays cold that way um, and so those are the best ice packs i've ever come across uh, those are the only ice packs that we have here in our office and so if you'd like to take a look at it and see it next time you come in uh, feel free to ask for it uh, but i also want to mention what about those chronic conditions right they're chronic pains what are some things we can do? Like uh, I, I've seen plenty of people with elbow pain, like this um, maybe tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. Tennis elbow is on the inside, golfer's elbow is on the outside. And so <clears throat> one other strategy that works really well, um, and these again, these are more chronic conditions, you use an ACE bandage and you wrap your, your elbow nice and snug um, and then you put moist heat on it. Um, now, a simple way to get moist heat, if you don't have a heating pack that, that holds moisture, uh, you can just grab an old sock, put some rice in it, tie a knot, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, rice holds the heat, the moisture, uh, really well. So you put that on um, the painful area, <clears throat> and you keep it on for 10 minutes. Okay, so now we're doing heat and compression. Uh, after 10 minutes, you remove the heat, but you leave the compression on for about an hour uh, after, afterwards. And what that does is the heat draws more blood flow to an area. So when you have chronic, a chronic condition, uh, you wanna draw more blood flow to promote healing, but you don't wanna cause swelling so the compression prevents the swelling. In an acute condition, we have a lot of swelling, right? I have so much swelling in there that it was throbbing all night, so we wanna compress, but we wanna also draw all that swelling out of there, so we want cold, right? You see the difference between the two? So cold, compress, and elevate. In the other case, it's compress and put moist heat on, to draw more blood flow there without creating swelling so that it can just kind of flush right through. All right, make sense? All right, if you'd like to take a look at our free sleeve, just uh, let us know when you come in next time. It's one of those things that you kind of have to have uh, in um, anticipation of a problem. Uh, once you have an issue and you need to grab something out of the freezer and you don't have it, you know, uh, I, I'm so fortunate that I had that in my freezer already so I could just grab it this morning and it brought me more relief uh, than I actually expected it would. So, and that is why I'm here doing this video. Have a great day.